Hey beauties, it's Gina. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited because I'm going to be doing my first Q&A for you guys. I asked you guys on Snapchat to send in your questions and I'll answer it on a Q&A video and y'all literally blew up my Snapchat. I love it. But first, before we get started with the video, I do have to give a quick shout out to my friend Zana who designed this shirt right here. It says Pally on it. She's actually this one right here. She's so beautiful. She is my fellow pageant sister. We did Miss Arab USA together. She's a great friend and she also is a fellow YouTuber. So I'm gonna leave her stuff right here, her Bellady Wear website and her social so you can follow her and check it out. She is gonna be coming out with more shirts with different Arab countries on them, so definitely be on the lookout for that. She doesn't even know I'm shouting her out or mentioning her shirts in my video, but I just love her so much and I love how she's empowering and spreading awareness about our Arab countries. I am all for that. All right, let's get started because there's so many questions. I'm actually gonna scroll down to the bottom to the very first question. All right, so this first question is from LNS XOXO. She says, hi Gina, I love you so much. I love you too. I am Palestinian and I'm married to a Coptic Egyptian. My question is, how do you keep your relationship interesting? How do you come up with ideas to keep things alive and exciting? Amir, do you wanna answer this? He's actually on FaceTime right now. He's so supportive. He loves to watch me do my videos. I think how to keep your relationship alive and interesting and fun is to never stop acting how you did when you first started dating. That is my number one key. Go back to that honeymoon, lovey-dove, sweet talk phase. Never stop acting like that. Never stop giving your other half that sweet attention that they deserve. Always incorporate that in your relationship every day. Go out on romantic dates together. Be spontaneous. Go do fun, adventurous things together. That person should be your best friend. So hang out with them. Have fun with them like they're your best friend. That was the first question and I'm already having so much fun doing this. Next question says, what is your goals when it comes to YouTube? So my goals for YouTube is definitely to inspire as much of y'all as I can in any way, shape, or form. I hope I can reach out and inspire y'all and just make an impact in your life, whether it be with confidence or embracing your Arab culture or any way at all, any way I can inspire y'all, that would just be like mission complete to me and make me so happy. And also I do wanna use my platform to embrace my Arab culture, to empower it, spread awareness and light to it, and just change the way people view Arabs, change the face of Arabs, and show the world how beautiful our countries are, how great our culture is and our hospitality, and just make relatable videos for you guys. Oh, and they also said, do you prefer to be hurt by someone you love most or by someone you trust most? I love you so much. I love you too, and uh, neither. I feel like it kind of goes hand in hand. I think this next person sent a picture. Literally my favorite all-time video of yours is, you know, your hair. <laughs> it's not really a question, but thank you. Oh, okay, so she did also ask a question. She said, what is your favorite food to eat? And also, I am your biggest fan. When I saw you added me back, I was so, you're an idol for me. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Um, I love you so much, by the way. What is your favorite food to eat? So my favorite food to eat is probably Chipotle. <laughs> my favorite type of food is definitely Mediterranean food. I love our dishes so much. I love our morcheya. I love our kushri mastery. If you're Egyptian, you know what I'm talking about. But our hummus, our falafel, I love our food so much. Okay, so this next person asks, Salam sister, I wanted to ask if you'd make videos pertaining your Coptic Christian faith and heritage. It would be something I'm truly looking forward for and a great way to educate others with your large fan base. God bless you and I wish you all success inshallah, your community out here to support you. Aw, yes, I would definitely love to make videos like somehow related to the Coptic Christian faith, like to spread awareness because I literally get questions about this so often. I get why people are interested, but yeah, I would love to talk about my faith. I'm not shy or anything like that about it. So if people ask me questions, I'm more than happy to answer, but I never wanna like push my faith towards anyone, you know? Next question is, what part of Atlanta are you visiting and are you Muslim? We pretty much go everywhere in Atlanta, but we mainly stay in North Atlanta and I'm Christian. But with that being said, your beliefs are your beliefs. I have love and respect for all religions and half my friends are Muslim. This next question asks, are you Egyptian? Yes, I am Egyptian, 100% Egyptian, as prideful as it gets. 
born in Alexandria, Egypt and all. Next question is, how did you and Amir meet? How old were you guys when you got married? So we're not married, but we met at a wedding and it's actually a really funny story, but I think I'll save it for when Amir is on this channel. How old were we when we met? I was 17 and he was 21. Now I'm 21 and he's turning 26. Next question asks, Hey Gina, I was wondering how you deal with distractions and hardships of living in a Western country and trying to stay true to yourself and your beliefs because I know this is a real struggle. So much love for you girl, God bless all. God bless you too and love you too. So my advice for that would just go against the flow. Don't be scared to be different or stand out or not do what society is doing or your friends. Just stick with your beliefs, stick with your goals, focus on you and don't be afraid to go against the flow. It's okay to stand out and be different. So this next question asks, how did you know that you wanted to do YouTube and how do you edit your videos? So I knew that I wanted to do YouTube for years. I can't even tell you how long, but I would always watch YouTube and I would have this desire in my heart, like I could do that, I wanna do that. But it was all about building up the courage and putting myself out there. No one I knew did YouTube and it was also new. So I was scared of being judged and failing, but that's really what stopped me from getting started a long time ago. But I always knew I wanted to do it and here I am, I finally ended up doing it. Actually as a child, anytime I saw a camera or a video camera, I would run up and steal the show. I loved being in front of the camera at such a young age. I have the funniest footage of me. Maybe I'll share it one day, it's pretty hilarious, but I was just always so comfortable and so energetic and loved being in front of the camera. And to edit my videos, I use Final Cut Pro X. I love getting creative with editing. So the next question is, do you and Amir have a plan on getting engaged? If so, do you have anything planned for the near future? Hmm. <laughs> like I said, Amir is on FaceTime right now, so. I'm just looking at him. Yes, we do. We've talked about it. We've actually talked about it for such a long time. And when the time is right, it'll happen and y'all will know about it. It'll be everywhere. All I have to say is I love you and it will happen on God's timing. Mwah, I love you. There's your answer. Next question is how did and when did you and Amir meet? How long have you two been together? What size wedding will you two be planning to have? So I kind of answered how we met. We met. August 4th, 2013, so it's been four years. What size wedding will we be having? It has to be a big wedding because his family is huge and my family is huge, so we don't have a choice there. It has to be a big wedding because we have to invite our family. Next question is, what part of Egypt are you from? I'm Alexandrian. Yes, I am from Alexandria also. Oh, I wanna go back so badly. I'm literally dying to go back to Egypt. Next question asks, do you see yourself more as an Egyptian or as an American? What advice would you give your 16 year old self? I see myself as an Egyptian because I'm 100% Egyptian, born in Egypt, but I have no problem saying Egyptian American either because, or Arab American, because I was raised in America most of my life. Advice to give to my 16 year old self would definitely be don't worry about fitting in. Don't worry about being different. Don't worry about what society thinks. Focus on you. Focus on your goals and your future. That's what matters most and eliminate everything else. Next question is, girl, can you do an eyebrow tutorial because they are popping. <laughs> I do want to do eyebrow tutorial, but I kind of just want to get the products down and the techniques down, try different things and really find something that I love before I put it out there, but as soon as I find a technique and products that I'm absolutely in love with, I promise I'll make one. Next question is, hi Gina, I'm curious, when is your birthday and how old are you? Love you so much and love your videos. Love you too. I am 21 years old and I was born on March 1st, so I'm a Pisces. Next question, when are you planning on getting married? Um, me and Amir have actually talked about this and we do have a season and hopefully a year in mind But we'll leave that up to God and his timing. Next question is how did you and Amir meet? Is he also Egyptian? You're so gorgeous by the way. Mashallah, you remind me of Miriam Ferris. You're so sweet I actually get this a lot, especially when my hair is curly. I don't see it, but I get it a lot but how did me and Amir meet? I kind of already answered that at a wedding, but I guess I really need to get him over here 
to do this video because it is a funny story and y'all really want to know so and yes he is Egyptian 100% as well next question how did you and Amir meet oh my gosh again you guys are seriously my favorite couple oh you're so sweet I promise, I promise I will get him over here to do this video, you guys. Next question is, were your Egyptian parents accepting of you making a YouTube channel? I love you so much. By the way, we have the same cross tattoo. I love you too, and that's awesome. I actually want to get mine touched up because it's so faded. You can barely tell it's a cross anymore. But yes, my Egyptian parents were accepting. As long as I'm focused on my studies, they're accepting and supportive of it. They just want to make sure I'm not too distracted but yes I'm very blessed and thankful to have parents that are supportive with my YouTube they even share it with their friends which is the cutest thing ever next question I have curly hair just like you but your curls always look so nice will you be doing a curly hair video soon I would like to know what you use in your hair thank you my hair it's a love-hate relationship with it but I do love my curls I will be doing a curly hair video very very soon I'm actually gonna be doing a whole series based on curly hair so stay tuned for that next is how tall are you weird question I always wondered love you though Gina love you too and guys I am NOT tall at all I am short and petite I'm only 5'2 so I'm pretty short but I'm always wearing heels I don't know why people always say that they expect me to be taller I don't know next question is will you and Amir ever make videos together please say yes I love your relationship so much. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, we are definitely gonna make videos together. We actually have talked about doing a few videos together and we have a few good ideas and that will be coming soon, hopefully. It's just really hard to film with him because he lives in Atlanta and I live here in Texas, so we just gotta make it work when the time allows. Next question is Gina, I love your channel so much. You are seriously my favorite YouTuber. You inspire me in many ways and I want to create my own channel. What tips do you have for me starting YouTube and what camera do you use? I love you. I love you so, so much. You guys, when I get messages like this saying that I inspire you, that seriously means the world to me because that's my goal is to inspire you and you guys honestly are the ones who inspire me. But yes, definitely, if you have that desire in your heart to create a channel, do it. Don't let anything stop you. Get a camera, get whatever you need. It doesn't have to be anything fancy starting out. You will grow eventually and you could upgrade later. I use the Canon 70D. It's great because it has autofocus. And if you're doing a beauty channel, you need a camera that has autofocus. So that's the one I would recommend for that. But yes, do it, get started. I love this so much. Okay, last but not least question is, you and Amir are couple goals. Well, I need to know, how do you find a good guy? <laughs> Thank you, love. Okay, so finding a good guy. Don't look, leave it up to God. God's timing is the best timing and he will put someone in your life when the time is right with the perfect person that's meant to be for you. And during that time, just focus on you. Focus on bettering yourself. Enjoy life, life is short. I always tell my younger girls, being in a relationship is great, but you're gonna be married for the rest of your life. Enjoy these few moments that you have until you get married to just be single and love yourself. All right, beauties, that is it for my first q and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I answered a lot of questions that y'all have been wondering. If I didn't get to answer your question, I'm sorry. I didn't want this video to be super long, but I promise hopefully I'll make another q and soon. But I had a lot of fun answering your questions and giving y'all advice. I love being interactive with y'all and talking to y'all, answering your Snapchat messages answering your DMs, your comments. I love talking to you guys. I try to reply back as much as I can because I love showing y'all love back and appreciation because I do love and appreciate each and every single one of you that show me love and support. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video for more. Comment down below if you have any other questions for me and follow me on my social medias if you haven't already. Love you beauties. Like, sometimes it's hard to read. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you, Amir. Put yourself on mute. <laughs> I'm just like over here answering the questions for me. I love seeing your face though, it does help.